Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a book review for a book that I literally just picked up, just came out, and I read it within, I think, a whole, I think I just read it in one day. I might have started it the night before, but I read it pretty much all throughout yesterday and I had so much fun with it. And it is uh, Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute by Talia Hibbert. So I originally had no idea that this was a young adult book until I did my uh, books coming out in January 2023. And I read it was a young adult book and I was like, oh, I don't know how I feel about that because her Chloe Brown or her Brown sisters books are adult and they're so, so, so good. So I was worried transitioning to young adult sometimes doesn't work that well. Although most authors transition young adult to adult. So I don't know. That's more what I have experience with. This is so cute. It definitely got about a 4, 4.25 for specific reasons, there are a couple reasons and why I still prefer her adult books better, but this was so adorable. So if you don't know anything about this book, we are following our main character, Celine, and our other main character, Brad, and they are high school students and they used to be best friends when they were kids. They had a falling out and now they're like sworn enemies. Something happens and Brad ends up helping Celine, which kind of throws them into this environment together and they are stuck looking after each other. And obviously feelings develop, friendships rebuild, relationships build, and it's just, it's so cute. So the story is following them and they are both very ambitious individuals for different reasons. Uh, Brad has OCD, which is great rep in this book. It is such good rep. And I felt like it was very realistic. It was very good. And the author, she actually has a history of OCD and her family has a history of OCD. I looked it up because she's, she's very good about writing characters that are marginalized because she's got some health issues so she writes that into her books and it's that's why it's so realistic and so good and so brad our main character has ocd very very interesting to read and i think she does such a good job representing it and then our main character celine is uh from a family where her father left so she's dealing with the ramifications and the trauma of her father leaving but also wanting to kind of show him like hey this is this is how i'm doing this is what you left behind so there's just a lot of dealing with trauma and emotions and all kinds of other stuff going on in this book and they're doing this while they are at a woods land retreat thing so there is a very famous lawyer who's very into giving uh people chances to break into the industry and especially young bright people and so she holds this like camp this experience where they have to come and they show their leadership skills and their survival skills and so it's really funny it's really really funny because neither one of them love the outdoors so it's just a mess it's so funny but they look out for each other and it's just so sweet it's such a cute book and also the flop <laughs> This book alone, just because of the absolute, like, floppiness of it, I loved reading. <laughs> and also, it's just so cute. Like, it's so cute. So anyway, really love this book. Like I said, 4, 4.25. Undecided. It's still kind of really fresh in my brain. I feel like this one's going to take a little bit to kind of, like, marinate and see where exactly it falls. So the things that I loved about this book, there was a lot of humor. I felt like the characters were very real. I felt like the storyline was so good because it was like, it was like forced proximity, but not in a adult romance way. So it definitely stayed very in tune with a young adult book. Like there weren't just like overly weird things happening that weren't very realistic like this was pretty realistic about what could happen and it was very realistic about the friendships that were in here very realistic uh high school environment i feel like i've read a couple young adults recently where the high school environment was very strange and felt very out of touch and this one felt like yeah i was back in high school and i was like oh my gosh <laughs> get me out of here <laughs> and we had very, very different characters. Like none of these characters felt even remotely the same. Everyone was very unique and it drew you right into the story very quickly. I love the premise of this. I think this is such a good premise. It's really cute. And uh, it is on the older side of young adults. So they're 18, 18, 17, 18. So I like that it was more older because they do deal with talking about relationships and like uh, very, very, very small amounts of talking about sex and hormones, kind of stuff like that. The regular stuff high schoolers talk about. So I felt like it didn't take it too far, but she talked about it realistically, unlike other young adult books that kind of just like shove it under the rug because they don't want to pretend it doesn't actually exist and that teenagers don't have tons of hormones running around in their poor bodies. <laughs> 
So I like how she handled that. I thought she did a really good job. I feel like she did a lot of good research and talked to people who like actually know what it feels like and have been there recently because <laughs> it's been a while for me. Like I don't like reading this. I was taken back to those days and I was like, pass, <laughs> pass, <laughs> way too many hormones. So I love that. I thought it was a great atmosphere, great time. Love the characters. Now, things that I didn't like. I did have a bit of an issue towards the beginning. I felt like Celine's character was a bit over the top. Like she is definitely one of those super overachievers, high intensity kind of people. And she definitely did great on my nerves a little bit. And she's very uh, outspoken to the point of being just very rude to people. So I didn't love that. I felt like she definitely needed to tone herself down. But at the same time, I felt like this book did that. So. I'm like torn if it's even a light or if it's even like a dislike because it showed her growth throughout the book. Like she no longer was snapping at people. She was still like asserting herself, but not in a way that was putting anyone down. Cause that's kind of how it felt at the beginning is she thought she was better than everyone to the point where everyone else was stupid. And I don't like that. It's, it's not, not a fan of that. So I'm glad that there was like emotional growth by the end but it still was like in the book a little too long for me like I don't I don't love main characters like that but at the same time I still adored her so it's mostly just those points where she was kind of seemed like she was putting people down but she's also like one of the best friends ever she's one of those people that is just like amazing and such a good friend and that person that you want by your side when things get tough so yeah I don't think there's really any like trigger warnings with this probably <sighs> mostly just talking about family if you if you don't like talking about family situations I guess that would be maybe a trigger for some people but it's pretty it's a pretty safe book if you don't like reading about OCD I definitely wouldn't read this like if it tr if you have OCD and it triggers it or if you have anything and that might trigger something that could be an issue because they do talk about OCD a lot in this and there's a lot of uh like they go through his like how his brain thinks through stuff so if that could trigger some people, I don't, I don't exactly know because I do not have OCD, so uh, I don't know about that. So that's kind of just like a thing there. If you, if that triggers it, just know that it is a lot in here. I would say there's nothing really else in here that would be a trigger warning. So I think this is a pretty safe book. It's really fun. This is a really, really good young adult book. I do still prefer her adult romances because I think there were some, che there was some cheesiness in this at the beginning. Like some of the jokes felt a little forced that didn't feel forced in her adult books so again keep that in mind this is her first young adult book so I feel like the more she writes depending if she writes anymore I don't know if she'll write anymore uh, if she writes more just keep that in mind that it is the first one so and the cheesiness gets less like as the book goes on it becomes more natural and feels more like just two people talking instead of two almost caricatures of high school students at the very very beginning so that's kind of why I got a four and not a five is it there did it was some cheesiness I didn't love the aggressive nature of the character at the beginning and that's about it otherwise this was a really really good book I feel like anyone who is on the fence about this because it's young adult I think you should give it a try it's really not that long look how cute it is it's just so cute if you're on the fence about this, I would say pick it up. It's actually really, really fun. And I definitely am glad that I read it. And I read it, like I said, in a day. Like I was engrossed in this novel. So Tally Herbert does it again. So excited. Can't wait for her next series to come out. I am excited. I hope she does more. Like I can see them actually doing more in the storyline because it's kind of like the Brown Sisters books where there's a group of friends. So she could do more young adult books in this storyline with some of the other characters in here and I actually really hope she does and I hope the next book is actually her friend Aurora who is probably my favorite because she was really shy and she got more and more like outspoken as we went so I hope there's a whole book on her that would be really cool but anyway had a great time with this I say pick it up I recommend this one I think it's really good and yeah that's all I got for you in this video and make sure you comment down below if you read this or if you want to read this or any recommendations of young adult books that are like this and uh make sure you like the video uh, subscribe to the channel for more book reviews and I will see you in the next video.